that um, this start so far, and how do you plan on, I don't know, keeping grounded, not getting the big head, not thinking that you guys have arrived yet? Well, yeah, it's definitely exciting to um, just go through that streak and just come out with victories. I mean, that's the point of it all. So definitely excited about it, but um, I don't think any of us are really satisfied yet because, I mean, we still have six more conference games, four more divisionals, so we still got a lot ahead of us, so we don't have time to even really celebrate that win. I mean, the celebration's over now. It's time to get ready for Boston College. Back in July, <coughs> you know, in individual workouts and when you guys are working out as a team, did you guys think this was possible? Yeah, every year. I mean, when we work out, that's what we work out for. We That's what we believe every single season, but it just feels good to actually have it happen this season. What kind of a step do you guys feel he made Saturday night? I mean, it seemed like the... There have been some improvement in defense the last couple of games, but really just a pretty dominating effort. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us, we didn't give up any chunk plays, like yeah. huge chunk plays. Like I feel like the first four games we gave up chunks of like 50 yards and plus, and so that was probably our biggest improvement, just not giving that up. What, what, what made the difference for you guys in that in that area, not not giving up the big plays? Was it focus or think, anything in particular? I think it was just everything together. I mean, we had good pass rush. I mean, we had good coverage. We tackled a lot better than we have been, so just everything added up. Just not and not, not many missed assignments. I don't think so. That's another big thing for not chunk plays, not having chunk plays. Xavier, was there something too about the offense? Uh, I mean, the offense obviously had gotten a lot of attention because of what they were able to do, and maybe the defense hadn't gotten as much attention. Maybe this was the first game where you guys were kind of center stage too. I mean, how was that? Did that just kind of fuel things for you guys? Um, not really. I mean, we compete against our offense every day. We're glad they're getting attention and having a lot of success. I mean, all we can do is focus on us and just try to get better every week. And um, I'm proud of my guy, proud of my teammates. I'm glad we were able to finally put it together as a whole package. But we still have a lot, a long way to go. We definitely haven't arrived yet. So I mean, we can just get better this week and just try to keep improving. What do you? I mean, you've probably been reminded. I don't know whether you've been reminded yet by Clemson fans, people. Who, We've seen Clemson win big games and then kind of lose games mm -hmm. that they're not supposed to. I mean, yeah. is that does that even enter your thinking? Um, not at all. I mean, I've been a part of that also, but uh, people. I mean, we just can't really focus on the past because it's a whole new team, a whole new season. So we just got to focus on Boston College now. We can't even focus on Virginia Tech anymore. It's just the next game. Does it make it easier to focus on them, concern what happened up there last year as well. What's that? Oh, Boston definitely, College yeah. Game. Boston College, they're always tough. I don't care what their record is. I don't care about any of that. I know Montel Harris, and I've known about him since Little League. When he, he's from my area, so, yeah. I mean, he led his team to the national championship and the Pop Warner. So, I mean, I know he's going to come in ready to play. The offensive line is going to be big, strong, and nasty. So, we just got to buckle our chin strap up and get ready to go. Did you play against him while growing up in Jacksonville, and what do you, what do you remember no, about him? I just known of him because yeah. he's like – him and Jamie uh, played together in high school too, yeah. and he was just—he's big time. He just got balance, speed, everything you want to run the back. So he's gonna come up and he's gonna give us all he's got. I know he loves playing Clemson. Oh yeah, absolutely. We talk about how far this team has come since Boston College a year ago. That after that Boston College game, it was almost like a fractured team. What is the difference now, as far as even in the locker room? Um, I don't feel like we were fractured last year. I just feel like it was just, just. The way the ball rolled last year, just little things happened that things didn't go our way, and I feel like they're going our way this year for some whatever reason. I feel like maybe I guess we're just doing the little things a little bit better, little things right. So, I mean, I guess it's paying off. Thanks, Thanks.